Uh, next question is from Backfield3779. Another regular. We have quite a few regulars. Ah, I'm so excited. Yes. Um, but they said, Henry, you've been using KeyPass for a long time. But after ProtonPass was released, you said you started using it for some websites. Recently, you also stated that when Proton releases its desktop app, you might completely switch to ProtonPass. Am I right that for you, at least more recently, using KeyPass has been less about valuing the control and offline experience of using KeyPass and more just liking the UI compared to other open source password managers like Bitwarden, and that is why you've stuck with it? Also, since Bitwarden is currently working on a redesign and moving to native mobile apps, could it be an option that you'd consider? Okay, I feel like I can't really answer this question directly without just like telling a story. So, I used KeyPass originally because Yes, originally it was like, I want like utmost control. I want to be able to sync things on my own. I want to be able to have an offline backup. I want to control all my passwords by myself. And this was way back in the day when I was using uh, even like the normal KeyPass client, not even KeyPass XC. It's just the actual KeyPass client from KeyPass's website, which I'm sure they work hard on it. But for those who have used it, it's definitely a little bit rougher around the edges than something like KeyPass XE, Strongbox, or any other password managers that we commonly recommend back here to integrate with KeyPass. Um, but that's what I used. And then when I found KeyPass XE, that was a massive upgrade for me in my life. And then uh, I also really like Strongbox as well. So those are kind of my two favorite KeyPass clients on desktop. And I just kind of stuck with it. It always worked. I really like KeyPass and it's a solid offering. It's really dictated by the client you choose to use though. If you have a nice client, KeyPass can be very enjoyable to use. If you don't have a nice client, it can really ruin your life, I feel. And the last, I think Jonah might remember this, but I think about like a year, year and a half ago, I experimented with maybe setting up a password manager. So I tried 1Password um, and I tried Bitwarden and I, I just, I couldn't get into them. I didn't like the interface for either of them, which I know is a hot take because a lot of people like 1Password's interface. Um, and just like the general design of everything. I know you like it, um, <laughs> Jonah, but I just, I really didn't like it. And I actually felt like my user experience with my KeyPass clients was better. Um, and that was really like the nail in the coffin for me because it was free, it was still controlled by me, and I felt like it was a better experience. Now, I tried Bitwarden recently and I just can't get into it compared to my KeyPass client. But I, I really want to. I want more of the convenience because now that I have a better understanding of how these password managers work, um, I don't really think they're inherently less safe necessarily. Um, I always think that rolling it your own, having it offline is safer than using something cloud-based. But when you understand how end-to-end -end encryption works and how these things are zero knowledge and all the encryption is done on your device, uh, there isn't like as much trust as you think that you're putting in these providers, especially if they're open source and they're doing things properly unlike last pass. <laughs> um, so where I'm going with this is yes, I would, I'm totally like, I didn't even know that Bitwarden was redesigning things. Once Bitwarden rolls out their changes, I'm probably going to try it out. And if I like it enough, then I might utilize it. And same with ProtonPass. Um, so I'm kind of like open, I'm open to the idea of finding a better password manager that I really enjoy using. And I think it's either going to be ProtonPass or possibly a redesigned Bitwarden. So that's my password manager journey. And I, mm -hmm. that's why I said I couldn't directly answer it because I feel like there wasn't a direct answer there. But then it says at the end, Jonah can also share his thoughts here. <laughs> yes, he can. Oh, thank you. So generous. <laughs> um, I also recently found out about Bitwarden's uh, mobile app redesign, and it sounds super cool because the way that the mobile apps work now is not my favorite, and switching to native iOS and Android code, respectively, will be a lot better for them, I think. Um, I am liking Proton Pass um, the way that they're going quite a bit. Um, they're adding features really quickly. They're adding things before Bitwarden is that people really want. Um, they're adding a lot of features that um, I really like, and I would really there. There's reasons that I'm not going to personally switch password managers, but if if I was going to choose a new password manager to start from scratch, I would definitely. Um, give Proton a really good consideration. I think they'd probably be my top choice right now um, based on what they've done so far and based on how they're going. It's really, seems to be a really solid product from them, yeah. which is great. I agree. It's, I think, one of the best Proton rollouts, actually. You know what I think it is? Um, I think it's the simple lock-in team yeah. since they're the ones behind it. it. 
Yeah. Um, I just think that. that they're just <laughs> a lot better at this kind of thing. Than yeah. Proton is. <laughs> yeah. It's probably so, like, I'm glad a... that they're working for him now. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like I, that's the vibe I get too, is like my, my behind the scenes communication is also like, it's mostly with like the simple login people when they're talking about Proton Pass. So they're doing a great yeah, job. It's got to say. Same on my end. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. Here's another clip for you. And if you want to really dive into tech, check out our main channel, TechLore, for a deeper dive into digital rights, privacy, security, and more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.